are Skull Crushers of Corn. Any good. Skull Crushers are basically Chaos Knights on Juggernauts, but they're not just armored and shielded. They don't just have Frenzy. They're anti-large and armor-piercing. They are the roster's ultimate weapon for trampling enemy cavalry, monstrous infantry, and masked war beasts. So I'm going to call it a hard maybe. Please like, subscribe, comment, and consider donating through my coffee page. I'm trying hard to make this a channel to serve your interests. Thank you! Skull Crushers have a little more HP than Blood Crushers, but share 62 speed on the low side for cavalry, especially in Warhammer 3. On the other hand, 75 leadership is pretty good. Melee attack is 42 base, but Frenzy turns that into 52 right off the bat. Melee defense is 40, which is quite solid. The shield gives a 30% chance of missile parry, and 130 armor is very high. Attack interval is 4, just like the Blood Crushers, with a maximum splash of 4 targets. Both of those are very good figures. That gives context to weapon strength of 64, with base damage 19 and armor piercing 45 and a whopping charge bonus of 70. Frenzy adds 10% to all of those numbers. Also, they have a bonus versus large of 10. Now, 10 isn't game-breaking in and of itself, but it helps. It means this unit has far less to fear from cavalry of any kind, and it's not like they suddenly become helpless against infantry. Mass of 1500 per model gives you hope of doing cycle charges or going through broken enemies to slam into the next group. What's notably missing is any magical attack or flaming attacks. None of that nonsense. This is straight up physical onslaught. There are situations where this will really help you, and obviously somewhere it hurts because of enemy physical resistance, but that's what Blood Crushers are for. Literally, that's what they're for. Skull Crushers are just all-purpose, general deliverers of pain and suffering. And they're really, really good at it. Skull Crushers benefit from Blood Soak Champions, the Red Line skill for Chaos Warriors, adding plus 10 to armor and plus 6 to melee defense at rank 3 of the skill. Do they need the defense? Well, it's there. Overwhelming Stampede gives rank 7 Skull Crushers a bonus to leadership, melee attack, and spell resistance, which is all good stuff. Having said that, this is all you get. You're left with a unit benefiting enormously from any buffs you can shower on it. Juggernaut Anger in the Exile's tech tree gives plus 8 charge bonus, and Hail Skull Crusher reduces the recruitment duration for these and Chaos Knights. The first is nice. The second makes your practical ability to get Skull Crushers in the first place much, much higher. That's all there is to know. The rest is up to your skill in using them, but what I want in a cavalry unit is something that hits hard and so well. Micro rewards me for the effort. I feel that way about Skull Crushers. That, and the anti-cavalry capability, means I can just use them with no fear or respect for anything within reach. Offense is still the best defense, and this unit packs a lot of offense. Take care, and have fun crushing skulls! It's in the name.